Hi Genius Minds, this is your grade 6 aptitude and reasoning book. We are going to start with chapter number 1 that is coding decoding. You know when you study coding decoding, it just help you to understand that how you convey the message in the form of secret codes and then these codes are only able to be disclosed to the person who knows that how this code has to be decoded. So, we are becoming a secret detective and we are able to make understanding of different concepts, how the codes are created, how we decode the message and it really improves your memory, it improves your logical understanding and that makes you more smarter person. You know, it has been analyzed that if you do the questions of coding, decoding, it improves your memory as well. So here Beckon and Chirag are playing the game of coding and decoding. And in the previous message, Beckon got the indication that he has to find the next code in balcony. He's standing in the balcony and he is looking for the code for the next target. And immediately he got it. The message was that Z-F-V-A-R-J stands for wisdom. Now what is the code for N-F-W-Z-K-B-Q. Now we need to search a logic that what logic actually converts this message into wisdom. And here we got the symmetry. What is the symmetry? We have alternate minus 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus 3 and this way the code is created. Now the same symmetry has to be followed and we need to decode this message. So n minus 3 becomes k and f plus 3 gives you i. Then w minus 3 turns to t and z plus 3 gives you c. Similarly, k minus 3 is h and b plus 3 gives you e and q minus 3 gives you n. What's the message here? Your next treasure is in the kitchen. So, interesting way to convey the message and Bakken and Chiraga really having fun getting the treasure hunts and looking for the next code. Now we talk about the different category of coding. So basically we have to understand that letter coding is one coding in which the letters of a particular word are replaced with other letters and they are following specific rules. Then next is number symbol coding. Here we are going to assign some numerical code values to the words or alphabet code letters to the numbers. And the third is substitution coding. In this type of coding specific words are given substitute names and then these names are used to decode that what will be the pattern followed and how the new code has to be created. A very interesting trick applied here. For the first 13 alphabets, we have taken next representation of next 13 alphabets. So, if we have A, it gets replaced by N. If we have N, it gets replaced by A. And the same pattern is followed further. B is replaced by O and if we have O, it gets replaced by B. Now, we have to write hello. To write hello, let's see where is H. So, H is replaced by U. Then we have E. E will be replaced by R. We write down R here. Next comes L. L is replaced by Y two times and next one is O. So what will you write in place of O? That's beautiful. We write B here and your code becomes U R Y Y B. So interesting way to just write a code. Here we have another pattern of question. So word chess is written and we have changed every alphabet with the pattern of minus 1 plus 1 alternatively. So C turns to minus 1 that becomes B, H plus 1 is I, E minus 1 is D, 
then s plus 1 is t first time next time again we have got s but this time it has to follow a pattern of minus 1 so it turns to r and your code becomes b i d t r moving ahead with another example here we have followed a pattern of minus 6 plus 1 minus 6 plus 1 plus 1 minus 6 and then orange is written as i s u o h y this is how you write a code so all the words following this coding decoding will be formed using the same pattern remember this thing so you have to first decode the message and understand what symmetry is created and once you understand the symmetry your cracking of new codes will become more easier now let's look here if the code for write is s g j d y now you need to first understand that what pattern of code is created so we saw that r minus 1 gives you s then i plus 2 gives you g then g minus 3 gives you j we are following the pattern h plus 4 gives you d and t minus 5 gives you y that means numbers are increasing from 1 to 5 but one time it is increasing and another time it is decreasing so we follow the same pattern and we need to find the answer for u p d z y so here we have u p d z y and we follow the same pattern we get the answer as trade and c is your right answer let's move ahead in certain code language tape is written as 4825 and we have a code for share as 93815 and tube is written as 4675 now using the codes for these three words you need to find what code will be for Basera? So we first write down the codes for tape, then we write the codes for share, and we write the code for tube. Now let's see B is 7. We write down 7 here. A is 8. Let's put 8 here. S is 9. Write down 9 here. What is E? It is 5. Then we have R. R is 1. And again we have A. A stands for 8. So we have got 7, 8, 9, 5, 1, 8. Where is the answer? 7, 8, 9, 5, 1, 8 is here. So we say that B is the correct answer. Isn't it so thrilling? I hope you are enjoying doing it. Now your time begins and you are going to crack some codes and become a good coder. You will be excelling the skill. Once you focus it, you completely understand that what pattern is followed and based on the pattern, you just observe the symmetry and once you understand the symmetry, you will be able to crack the code for the hidden message. So, it will make you a detective person and definitely it is a great fun playing coding with your friends. Make it your habit whenever you have free time, spend some time to create some very interesting code and tell your friend to decode it. It's going to improve your coding skills and you'll become the master coder. Stay tuned, I'll be soon back with you with some new skills to make you a good reasoning student.